And now it's time for the gold medal match and it's the dream lineup here. Every neutral has been looking at this rivalry building over the season and its climax is right here at the Hyundai Archery World Cup Final. And now, please welcome the athletes to the field of play for the Company Women's Gold Medal Match. Gold medal match time here in Tlaxcala. And it's the rivalry that's built over the whole season about to unfold here in Mexico. Target number one, representing Great Britain, Ella Gibson. And target number two, representing Colombia, Sara Lopez. So what a matchup we have here. The world number one, Ella Gibson of Great Britain, going up against the world number two, Sara Lopez from Colombia. Sara Lopez has been top of the game for the last 10 years and is a six times Hyundai Archery World Cup final champion. It was a breakthrough season for Ella Gibson from Great Britain, winning three stages, the th only three stages she went to in Antalya, Paris and Medellin. No wins for Lopez this season but a fantastic world record in Medellin, a 150 with 11 Xs. This is the matchup that everyone wanted, Gibson versus Lopez for the gold medal at the Hyundai Archery World Cup final. just the start that we wanted. <laughs> they are both on their best here. I'm so excited for this. Nueve. Nueve. Oh, both shooting nines. Is that my commentator's guess? Yes. So 29 start for Gibson. A smile on the face. Yes. And matched by Lopez. So no world records up for grabs here. They both drop points. Both reacted with a smile and a laugh as well. Well, these two have faced each other twice this season. And it's two and O oh for Ella Gibson. Here at the World Games, Gibson taking the gold medal with a perfect 30 and a 148-142 win against Lopez. And then they faced each other in Medellin. And look at that, a 148 against a 146. So this season, these two amazing rivals have gone up against each other twice before. Gibson 2-0. and And here is the third meeting between them. And there's nothing to separate them here in Tlaxcala at the Hyundai Archery World Cup final. 29s on the board as we go into the second end. Just out, can't see too much wrong with that. And they're making an adjustment. Tiny little bit of wind, bit of movement from yes. Lopez. if this is going to be the turnaround. You look at the 
experience at this competition, eighth final for Lopez. This is the debut for uh, Ella Gibson. Nueve. And three nines ain't gonna cut it against Sara Lopez. Yes. 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 Sara Lopez finishing with a perfect to go three points clear after two. Not sure what's going to be going through Ella's mind right now, but obviously she's just lost a little bit of her confidence with these shots going in different directions, really. Got a coach there, Simon Scott, behind her. Got to talk this through, work out what is going on, but I imagine it's the amount of nerves that are on her right now. First World Cup, first big season for her on this senior circuit, and done amazingly well. But Opez absolutely on form, right at the right time. Do you think that's, that is nerves from Gibson? Because they, they were quite well spread, those lines, weren't they? It wasn't like they were all collected in one area. Yeah, I think it is nerves. What else could it be at this point? She's, she's got a shot down. She knows what she's doing. But hey, this is it now. This is like the biggest event in target archery. She wants to win this so bad. Six titles for Sarah Lopez. She's gone up by three points here. Yes. Gibson putting it back in the middle. Lopez in control. I think the timer clock just hadn't been switched over, so Ella shot a shot, hadn't been switched over to Lopez. She's just waiting for that really? timer clock, which is important, but has it just pushed her off her stride and timing a little bit there? She didn't look like she'd... Uh, she was too bothered by it. She saw that the clock hadn't started, but the score... Yes suggest that perhaps it was she was rattled we talk a lot about the timing now she's had an arrow fall off the rest there's so much going on in this match a reset from her yes back into the 10 i wonder if the wind has just picked up a little bit here hearing it on the mics of course Yes, yes, so yes. So perfect for Gibson. A good response after a 27 to shoot a 30. Yes. A 29 from Lopez. So Gibson's closed the gap by uh, a single point. If she can do that in the next two ends, we're going to have your favourite thing. What? What? <laughs> an, uh, uh, a titanic end that would be to the match, wouldn't it? It really would be, yeah. If it went to a, a single hour shoot off, that would just about sum up the season, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's been uh, a sporting rivalry that's been in the making this season. There is the reset from uh, Sara Lopez, able to get back at full draw pretty quickly. And recovering with a 10. But this rivalry has been building and building throughout the season. Lopez talked earlier on this season about suffering with a little bit of mental health issues and uh, struggling on the shooting line. But she showed us that she was making her way back at the World Games in Alabama in the USA and then shooting a world record at the last stage in Medellin. Yes. Gibson. Starting end number four, and for the first time, perhaps this season, finding herself behind against Lopez. Yes. These fast shots from Lopez. This is what happens when she's on form. She pushes the match. She pushes the timing back to her opponent. She's taking control. Yes. Gibson doing what she has to, as putting it into the middle a little. Exhale there to calm down as well. Yes. But Lopez is looking at this and thinking, I'm in with a massive chance of claiming a record-making seventh world title. 
Just about yes. clipping to the nine, to the line, I should say. Uh, although we think that may go for a measure. Yes, yes, yes. Provisionally marked as a 115 for her, but it's a 118 for Lopez. Back on perfect form with a 30. We talked about the pressure that Lopez is putting on uh, Ella Gibson. Gibson seems to be handling it though. Yeah, she does. Uh, you know, she's sticking to her shot routine. Ella is a bit of a perhaps a slow shooter anyway. I talked about how like Lopez is really speeding things up, but maybe Ella's just trying to actually slow things down and take uh, Lopez out of her rhythm. And it was funny when the timing went wrong uh, at the end before, where actually then Lopez shot that nine. So. Maybe that's a bit of a, a tactic potentially that could be used against her, but she looks unstoppable at the moment. She does indeed look unstoppable. The measures happened and Gibson has been marked for 310, so it did get marked up from the 9 to the 10. So 116 plays 118. Gibson will shoot first, but the form that Lopez is in means that Gibson has to have 310s here to give herself any kind of chance. There's the first one. Taking that deep exhale as well after shooting the arrow just to keep her heart rate down. Yes. And Lopez into the 10. Much longer holds yes. from Ella. Difference in the speed between these two archers. Quick shot yes. from Lopez, straight back at you. Not much recovery time for Ella between shots. So Gibson has to put a 10 down here and hope for a big error from Lopez. Yes. She jets yes. it into the yes. 10 for another 30 and a 146, but she walks away from that shooting line. No, this is probably done. A nine will do it. Yes. A, t a 10 will be even better. And Sara Lopez from Colombia, after a tricky start to the season, has fully recovered. And in this season, she has taken a world record in Medellin and then come to her eighth Hyundai Archery World Cup finals and taken her seventh Hyundai Archery World title. Sara Lopez, you are a superstar. Oficial, Sara López es siete veces campeona de la final de las Copas del Mundo. Well, look at the emotion, uh, the outpouring of emotion from Sara López. She's been picked at number one seed by Ella Gibson this season. Ella Gibson taking three stage titles, but the big one goes to the most successful archer of all time, Sara López from Colombia is a seven times Hyundai Archery World Cup Final Champion.